Hello, Gemini. How are you doing? We're going to redo your reading here, okay? I'm redoing you, uh, Sagittarius and Aquarius, okay? Had some technical difficulties, and when things like that happen, I take that as Spirit's way of saying they need a different message, you know? Maybe timelines changed. Maybe I just wasn't all the way on my game. You never know, but... Anyway, here we go. If you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of this video. Okay. Also, I have the links uh, where you can find every deck used in my videos this month down in the description box of the video as well if you would like to check those out. So, this is new love. We're looking at new things coming in for Gemini. If you're not dealing with or interested in anything new, this is not for you. This is for my Geminis currently dealing with or very interested in something new coming in, okay? So the first thing we're looking at here is the past energy. Past energy for Gemini universe. What happened in the past? And how did that bring them to where they are now? Let's look at the past energy here. Ba Boom, ooh, two of them came out. Okay, two of them came out. <clears throat> Five of Wands reversed and the star reversed. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like that's that's strange. I, I didn't expect anything like this. There, was, in order to uh, try to avoid conflict, okay, I feel like you took every step necessary and tried everything that you possibly could to either come out of or completely avoid conflict altogether. But it's like no matter what you did, it got spun into some sort of disagreement. No matter what you, what angle you tried to approach things from, everything popped off into a fight. <clears throat> no matter what. <clears throat> no matter what happened. Let's get five shuffles here. One. Two. Ooh. Three more. Five of Swords reverse, see? Okay, you waited this out for a little bit. Could have been a Sagittarius that you were dealing with. You waited this out for a little bit, okay? And uh, what I think it was, here's what this really looks like to me, okay? I think the person that you were dealing with was up to no good, okay? They were up to no good. And essentially, at that point, what they're doing is they're projecting what they're doing onto you. Okay? They were projecting what they were doing onto you. And at that point, there really is nothing you can do to avoid or get out of that type of conflict, you know? Because if I'm doing something, and I, I'm going to turn around and start accusing you of doing what I'm doing, no matter what you say, no matter how you try to come at me, no matter, no matter what, I'm going to flip it around into projecting what I'm doing onto you. Mm, they were up to no good, boy. They were up to no good, but the, the thing about it is, is I feel like you maintained a very calm independence about yourself emotionally from what I'm seeing here. It got to the point to where you pretty much just went numb. Just numb. I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I know what I did and didn't do. I know what, uh, what really happened and what didn't happen. And, and you know what? If that's the way you see me, I don't even care. Whatever. There is no way to avoid conflict with this kind of person here. Not really. Not when they're projecting their actions onto you. See what I'm saying? And it looks like new communication. You probably, some of you, I know this isn't everybody, but some of you could have been talking to this new person uh, before that last uh, situation even ended, you know? But let's go ahead and look at this new person here. Okay. That's one hell of a pass there. I think we've kind of all been there, you know? But let's take a look at this new situation. New person. I'm going to look at how they feel about you, what their true intentions are. How this person really views Gemini Universe. What are their intentions? Are they playing games? Are they into you? Are they not so into you? We'll see. Two more shuffles here. Two more. Mm, 
Seven of Pentacles, okay. Six of Wands reversed, Devil reversed, okay. Very, very, ooh, they have a lot of feelings for you. They definitely do, but they're still keeping their options open right now, okay? This person is trying to come at this from a pretty logical perspective, and they're trying to keep their options as open as possible because they do see that, that if they allow themselves to, to, to go for this, they're going to have some real, and they, they already do have really strong feelings for you, but they see, man, I could easily fall straight in love with you, you know? But I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. This comes up 90% of the time. We pull a new person. They still got a hook in the past, right? I want to make sure this isn't another waste of my time. I want to make a 1,000% sure that this isn't going to be toxic. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Um, but I don't think that they're going to abandon this. They do kind of have their options open, though. Five of Cups reversed. They're still in the middle of a healing process of their own. Judgment card. Ooh. Could be another Gemini for some of you, but I think this person, they really feel an intense connection. Some of you, some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. That's not everybody. Not everybody's dealing with a twin flame, but even if it's not a twin flame, uh, it's still equally intense, very, very intense, just vibrationally different, okay? And the King of Pentacles. So they're, they're willing to give this a chance. They're, they're hanging out and waiting. They're, they're going through the check, you know? Do your actions match up with your words? Check. Do I notice you lying to other people? I think this person is very much observing how you interact with other people, you know? Because me and you come together. Me and you come together. And I start noticing that to my face, you'll lie to your family. I don't know if I trust you, you know? They're, they're, they're paying attention to all these little different things about you, okay? And the sun card. Uh, it, it looks to me like they have very, very good intentions, very high hopes. They're just running you, you're running you through a checklist, okay? person may have a little bit of an attitude problem, too. You may notice a bit of a rough edge about this person, a little bit of a rough personality. Ooh, there it is again, as soon as I split the deck. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a twin flame, but I know that's not everybody. If you come to me for a personal reading and ask, is this person my twin flame? That's the way I read it with that card right there. The lover's in the upright, okay? So let's look at what actions this person is taking. What actions is this person taking towards Gemini universe? The three of swords reversed, okay. Three shuffles, one, two, And three. Okay, Magician reversed. All right, so they're still, man, they're really hanging out and waiting. They're, they're wanting to keep it at communication, okay? Lovers reversed here. Um, I really feel like that, that should be upright. I honestly do, okay? Some of you could be dealing with somebody in which the intensity level of this connection makes them very, very nervous. They're nervous, you know. They're trying to they're they're trying to keep their emotional distance here, okay? They're trying, but it's hard. It's very, very difficult. It's very difficult, man. They feel because see, and I know I've explained this in a couple other readings before, but these are those types of connections that you know when you first come together with somebody, you got, and come on, don't lie. We all do this to one extent or another. You got your shield up, you know? Most of us are grown adults. And unfortunately, by the time we're grown adults, you know, mid-20s, early 30s, late 20s, you know, we're into our adulthood a little ways. We've been hurt a few times, right? Yep, been hurt a few times. So we got a wall up. We got a couple of, we got a little army standing around our heart just to make sure, you know. That won't keep this out. Oh, no. Nope, sure won't. You could build a wall 10 miles high. That energy will creep up over that wall in between the bricks and get right in here and grab you by the soul. It makes them nervous. It makes them really, really nervous. Okay? So I think they're trying to just keep this mainly at communication right now and trying to... Whoa, hold up. Hold up, man. Gemini's getting in here. How's, how, how's that happening, you know? 
hmm. But right now they're again they're they're trying to keep their distance because this in, the intensity level of this connection freaks them out. Well, what's the most likely outcome? Most likely outcome for Gemini Universe. What is it? Most likely outcome. Most likely outcome. Not really in the mood to do a bunch of singing in this video. Some of you are probably like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Ooh, six of swords. Lovers reversed. Hmm. Death reversed. Okay. All right. And the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this is a rough transition right here. I think you all are definitely going to... to I don't really think it's going to take lift off, but we're going to start moving. We're going to start transitioning into the next phase here, okay? It's a little bit rough, though, man. A little bit rough. This person's nervous, man. This, this connection is too intense. This connection is way too intense. Again, the lovers is reversed this time. The lovers card keeps coming up. And it's been upright, reversed, upright, reversed. And I really think that that is one, the other, or both of you. It really feels like the person that you're dealing with here, honestly. It feels like them trying to pull their energy back and, and, and not let you in, you know? They're trying to, like, like you you got them energetically. And they're, they're trying to, they're scared. So they're, they want to keep their distance, you know? But this isn't coming to an end. Nobody's walking away here. I do think that it's gonna be, it's gonna stay kind of at a superficial level. It's getting to the point where the the feeling of the connection, you all both feel so intensely, but you're both kind of covering it up and it's bubbling up, bubbling up, bubbling up to the surface. Hangman, three of pentacles, 10 of wands. <laughs> so I do see you all transitioning into the next phase. I don't see, uh, I don't see this coming to an end anytime soon. Uh, it just looks like it's going to be rough, man. And, and this is one of those types of things. It's like shaking up a, a soda bottle, you know. The, the intensity of the connection is just bubbling up, bubbling up, and I'm afraid it's going to end up popping, okay. Doesn't look like it just yet, but, hmm, wow. Okay. That's kind of a cliffhanger. I kept pulling cards off to try to see some sort of, like, I don't know. Is it, is it gonna die down and you're all gonna actually ace of cups? Or is it gonna pop off into an argument or something, some sort of, but it's not showing that. It's like a big cliffhanger on the edge of your seat, you know? So anyway, what's the best advice here for Gemini? Best advice. What is the best advice? Advice, advice. Dun, 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 dun. Best advice for Gemini. Ooh, there we go. Okay, the Five of Cups. When it comes to the past, don't try to run away from and bury your past. And especially, don't look to a new connection um, to help you get over your past. Uh, we can do that as long as you know what you're doing energetically. Some people don't know how to do that, though. Some of you do, some of you don't, okay? So, when it comes to a new connection, okay, that's fine. Me and you have this connection, we have this thing going on, but I gotta draw a line and I gotta focus on my healing over here. See what I'm saying? So don't just try to run away from it and bury it. As bad as we want to, we can't do that, okay? You gotta sit with it, face it, heal it. And that does require conscious effort, okay? Ooh, the devil card. Okay. So, yeah, there's definitely some demons you're going to have to fight. Don't run away from the demons, okay? We all have these, these negative thought forms attached to us, and we've picked them up throughout the years of all different types of things. That It's part of the human game, you know? Um, we 
been through emotional situations that have attached negative thought forms to us, but just don't run from them. Don't run from the demons. Face them. Face them. Mm-hmm. Take that thing that you've been burying for years and dig it up and face it. Face it. Rip that demon apart and stuff it in your fuel tank. Mm-hmm. Yup. Absolutely. Um, it's very important to take accountability for your own emotional state, okay? That's one of the hardest things to do in life, isn't it? That's tough, dude. That's tough. I'm not gonna, I, I'm going to decide how I feel regardless of what's happening out here. That's tough, well that's a challenge, but you know what? It's very, very rewarding when we dedicate our energy to doing that, very rewarding, okay? Um, learn a healthy balance between when to be serious and when to lighten up and not be so serious, okay? There's a time and a place for everything. A time and a place for everything. We don't want to be a stuffed sweater all the time, you know, Ugh, take everything serious all the time, but we also don't want to be a goofy dingbat all the time and, and act like everything is just a joke. You know what I mean? We don't want to do that at all. Find that healthy balance between when it's appropriate to be serious and when it's appropriate to goof off and be silly. See what I'm saying? I don't know why that came through. I don't know why, Jim and I, but it came through for you, so... Anyway, last but not least, you need to have faith. Look, I know <laughs> one thing about me is I'm not big on cliches, really. I'm not a cliche kind of guy. But when it comes to any type of manifestation, anything that manifests in your life, faith is fundamental. Okay? If you don't have faith, you'll never be able to manifest something big that you've never experienced before. Okay? That perfect relationship that's so successful, that big multi-million dollar business or, or however much money would, would, that you would want. You know what I mean? If that's something big you've never experienced before, you have to have faith. Okay? If you don't have the faith, you're never going to be able to allow the universe to bring it to you. And that's the only way to have that thing that you've never had before, is to get out of the way and let the universe bring it to you. Okay? So anyway, Gemini, I, I do feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. Hopefully, hopefully this one does just fine here on YouTube and I don't have to redo it again. But um, uh, yeah, yeah, I greatly appreciate every last one of you that tuned in and played along. I appreciate all the love, support, and positive feedback you all show me here uh, on YouTube on a daily basis. It makes my job worthwhile, y'all. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video if you'd like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.